sorry about last night. I am just in a lot of pain. I still am. Um, I don't know if many of you know what C. diff is or Clastidia difficile. I'm prone to getting that um, because I'm allergic to a lot of antibiotics and it wasn't too long ago that I was on the Z-Pack and um, I'm feeling like this might be maybe not a kidney stone but might be a C. diff again. Um, with C. diff whenever I eat or drink anything I get sick. Um, and since my surgery, my gastric sleeve surgery, I cannot throw up. Um, I get the dry heaves and a little TMI here, sorry guys. I have very, very bad diarrhea right now. Um, it's coming out of me like water. I cough and I go to the bathroom. And, um, so I... I'm in excruciating pain in my stomach and in my side and in my kidneys. So it could be a combination of a kidney stone and C. diff. It could just be C. diff. It could just be a kidney stone. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going to call for a phone appointment on Monday and explain I think, to I think them. you ought to call today. I personally think you ought to call today because if they can get you the medic... Now, we, what we don't want to do is go to urgent care because urgent care will, she'll be sitting there in pain for hours in the urgent care room. Um, they, at urgent care, they tend to treat us like we're crazy and uh, I think they treat everybody that way, but it's, it's really annoying. Um, and they don't give pain medication. They, they refuse to do, give pain medication anymore um, and uh, Val really could use it. But um, it's a couple of times that we have call, asked for a nurse's opinion or a doctor on the phone, um, they'd usually do it. So the only way to tell if she has C. defs is to actually do a stool sample. And that would take a couple of days to come back anyway. And usually when she thinks she has C. def, which it's looking like she does, um, they just give her the medication. It's, a, it's, a, it's really a weird, weird... Uh, uh, thing because it uh, it's caused by a um, um, antibiotic. antibiotic and what the antibiotic does is it kills off all of the bacteria in her stomach except for one and this one's a uh, is a very aggressive and uh, it'll take over if there's no other bacteria in her stomach to hold it down so then they have to give her another antibiotic to kill that antibiotic so that the other uh, bacteria can come back. It's really weird. Otherwise, though, if she doesn't get treated for it, it could kill her. And uh, you don't hear much about C. diff, but they keep saying it's one of the number one killers. You get dehydrated because you can't even hold down water. And, and Val has had it four or five times. Four or five times. So, I think you need to call today. I think you ought to give them a call before we get into any movies or anything. I do. Because uh, if they could just call you in the, uh, the prescription, I could run and get it today. So, they're talking about rain in the forecast today. It's pretty overcast right now. It's uh, cooler than it's been. And uh, I have some stuff just sitting out here that I want to get inside just in case it does rain. It'd be nice if it does rain. So if I get this uh, piece of mud out here, or a piece of hard dirt out here, softer, it would make me very happy. So, something else back here I want to check on. I had pulled out Val's wheelchair. And it looks like I put the wheelchair back in. Some of the stuff I probably should put into the garage. There we go. That's in. Alright, so... I don't know if you can see me anymore. So we called the uh, 
uh, the hospital, try to see if we can get a, an appointment on the phone. So, uh, and of course, they don't do phone appointments on the weekend, but we were able to get a call into a nurse, so we're going to have a call back. So what we're looking at is, as I said before, Clostridium difficile. I looked it up. Val gets it very often when she gets antibiotics. So, and uh, when she got the antibiotic on what she did, it, we kind of thought something like this is going to happen. It's always a surprise when it does. We always, there's all kinds of other things that it could be, like the, Um, the stones, it has similar pain, stomach pain, diarrhea, nausea, she gets all those when she has the passing the stone too. So, there we go on that. Try moving this stuff into the house. Some of it into the garage. I'm not going to be working on the lawn today. It'd probably be a good day to do it, but I'm not going to. Uh, again, I want to make sure I'm near closer to Val. <clears throat> Just in case they tell her to, to go to urgent care or emergency. All right, so I'm out and about today. It's Saturday. I saw a sign on Main Street here saying that they're taking electronics, old electronics that nobody wants to, uh, and they're just going to scrap them, pull the copper and gold out of them. So, and I've got a whole bunch of junk in the garage that's just, I don't know what to do. I, you don't want to throw it away. And uh, I, too lazy to look for a place to take it, but since it seems to be something local, I'll go take care of that. And uh, I need to go to the store, see if we have something to uh, to eat. Okay, so well, everybody, I'm still not feeling good. We didn't get any. <coughs> We didn't get anywhere on the phone today, as far as doctors and medication. They suggested we go to urgent care, but we don't get anywhere when we go to urgent care. So she suggested that I call back at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning to see if they have any open available appointments tomorrow to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. So I will try calling tomorrow morning to see if I can get in to see a doctor. That's about it. I didn't say you were going to go see a doctor. You don't have to be so scared. <laughs> He's just trying to get herself in a position. <laughs> anyway, um, that's about it. Uh, I have no idea what we did today or what Kevin did today. I just relaxed all day. I sold my picture of the three little girl witches. So, yay. Anyway, hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you guys saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite, a share. Please leave us a comment. And please subscribe. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Bye.